Today, I'm going to show you all of the latest Google AI tools, like you can see right here. I'm going to break down what I use them for, how to use them, which ones are the best, and which ones fit the best type of workflows, right? So we're going to kick it off with Notebook LM, which this is a free AI tool for generating media, right? So if you need to generate, for example, a quick baseless video or an audio overview, like a podcast or an infographic or a flashcard, based on your research that you can automatically pull in over here, then I'd recommend Notebook LM, right? Now it's awesome as well for creating a quick custom built chatbot. So for example, if you have research, so let's say I'm researching the new update from Claude Cowork, which is a new AI update that came out this week, then inside the chat here, I can ask any questions that I have, right? So I can say, okay, you know, what is this update? What is Claude Cowork, right? And it's actually custom trains and all the materials that are pulled in automatically from YouTube and across the web right here. So if you just want a general research tool that is free and can automatically create a chatbot custom trained on that particular topic, or you want to learn about a topic, then I'd recommend Notebook LM, right? Now, if you want something that's kind of chat GPT, but it's custom trained and personalized to you because it has all your information, for example, like your Google accounts, your Google Drive, your Sheets, et cetera, then I would recommend Gemini, right? And also the reason that I'd recommend going directly to Gemini is also you can generate images and videos really quickly, right? So you can see these create images and create videos options right here. If we pull up some examples from recently, you can see an example of an image that we generated using a very detailed prompt, right? And it creates beautiful images. It can also, for example, plan out itineraries. So for example, like I'm going to Tokyo early March and you can see examples of how it created this beautiful app right here. So it's great for plan, it's great for images, it's great for example, editing images as well. So you can see here, for example, we said change MCP to Claude in this image. So change that to Claude and it did it perfectly right there. Beautiful, right? The other thing that is pretty cool for is actually turning images into videos and also just quickly creating these apps, right? So you can see here, for example, it created this mini app for a game with a canvas preview. So we've got the chat on the left-hand side and the game on the right-hand side, right? So just to recap it, awesome for learning, awesome for custom chatbots, awesome for quickly generating faceless audio and videos and also flashcards. Gemini, awesome for images, awesome for videos, awesome for research, like for example, trips away, and then also really good for building out games and mini apps. Now let's talk about workspace and Google Flows. So Google Flows is like a version of Zapier, if you've ever come across that. And you can see, for example, we can automate a daily summary of our unread emails, right? So I could say on a schedule, recap my unread emails, notify me in Google chat, and it will just go off and do that, right? So it's like a no code way of doing this. So you can see another example where we actually do a daily recap of what's happened in AI in Google Docs automatically for me daily, right? And these workflows and these AI agents just work daily in the background, right? So for example, if I click on the activity tab here, I can quickly create workflows and then I can just get these workflows running in the background. I actually totally forgot this is running, but you can see we've got a recap of the latest news from yesterday, right? So it recaps everything that happened over the last day or so from my emails and then puts it in a Google Doc, right? Now, how do you set these up? You just go to the Discover tab. I've got loads of training inside the AI Success Lab, which is a free community. Link in the comments description if you want to know how to use this. But essentially, that is how Google Workflows works, right? Let me show you. Have a look here. Yeah, just type in Google Flows and you'll see all our training on that and exactly how to use this as an AI agent. So just to recap here, if you want to automate workflows, for example, recapping your emails or for example, researching daily news and then putting that into a Google Doc, Google Flows is really good for that. Gemini is great for the apps and Notebook LM is great for learning. Now, Opal is quite an interesting one. This is another free tool from Google Gemini. And what it allows you to do to do is create mini apps, right? So for example, here you can see we've got this blog post writer, right? And essentially in Google Opal, you can create a mini app like this. And it's kind of like a no code version of NA10. And on the left hand side, we have the workflow. And on the right hand side, we have the actual app we can test, right? If we go to the app section at the top, so we can switch between editor and app, we can actually test out the app directly. But then you want to put in a topic you want to learn about. So let's say, for example, Claude Cowork update, right? And then it will actually do the research. And after it's done the research, you'll actually draft a blog post, right? So this is kind of like a mini app where you're in like one screen, 
couple of different pages, nothing too complex, and it does it, right? And you can see we've got a bunch of ideas, like, for example, finding content gaps, creating blocks, learning Spanish, chopping up our existing content, and then turning that into a hundred pieces of content, right? This is how easy it is. And then if you want to learn this, again, I've got loads of trading inside the AI Success Lab. So if you type in, for example, Google Opal over here, you'll see all our different trainings and tutorials on this stuff, right? But if you want to learn how to use it, basically all you do is you just describe what you want here, right? So you say, okay, create an SEO blog post writer or create a YouTube thumbnail generator, right? And it will turn your prompt, your plain English prompt into a workflow that you can easily generate, right? And it'll have the editor over here and then it'll have the app over here. Next up, we have Google Stitch. Google Stitch is actually really good for design work, right? So if you want to redesign your website, like you can see right here, you can actually redesign your website, take in your existing content, and then you can say, okay, redesign this page so it looks more modern, or redesign this page so it looks more interesting, or redesign this page so it converts better, right? And it'll actually give you free redesigns of your content, which I think is great. It's a free tool, easy to use, easy to set up. You can see an example of what it actually gave us an output right here. And again, you just go back and forth inside the chat. So if you want to just redesign the front end of your website, this is one of the best tools. Then we have Google Anti-Gravity, which basically creates full scale apps, right? So for example, the back end and the front end. As an example of this, let me pull up Anti-Gravity here. So this is an example of how we can build an app. So we just go inside the chat here, we ask it to build an app or a website or a landing page. And then from there, we'll actually go off and do that, right? So full stack apps, this is one of the best ways to do it. Let me show you an example. So. For example, yesterday on the live stream, I created a daily accountability tracker, like you can see right here. We actually packaged it up for the iOS store. And if we go inside the chat, you can see that we've actually deployed this to a website, right? So we created an app from scratch. We built the whole thing out and then we deployed it to a subdomain like you can see, right? So if you want like a full stack mobile app, with a database, a login, a front end, a back end, an ability to store data as a database, then you would use something like anti-gravity, which again has free tiers, right? I'm on the free tier and I built all of that for free, right? And then the final Google AI tool that I wanted to show you was Google AI Studio. AI Studio is amazing for generating mini apps, for example, link directly to something like Nano Banana, right? Let me show you an example, right? So I actually use this tool daily to generate thumbnails. So if you have a look at my thumbnails on YouTube, a lot of the ones, particularly for the live streams, are generated with AI, like this one right here, right? And the way that we do this is we just go into the upload section here. We would upload an image that we want to change. So let's pull this up. So let's say, for example, I wanted to edit this thumbnail and then I can say, okay, change this to neon colors. And it's got this mini app just inside the direct chat here that I can quickly generate thumbnails for. Right. And it's linked to the APIs and the ecosystem of Google to generate images directly. Right. So I can automate something like thumbnails. I don't need a thumbnail designer. And I can quickly create three different thumbnails that I can test on YouTube. Right. Now, the way that I do this is literally what I do is I go directly inside the chat and I would say something like create a beautiful thumbnail designer. Right. Simple as that. You can actually go back for your previous prompts here. So if we have a look at the code assistant history, you can see that the original prompt we said was create a thumbnail designer, right? And if you want to build with AI Studio, I've got loads of training inside the AI Success Lab, which is completely free again. And if you type in AI Studio here, you can learn how to basically build and automate anything with Google AI Studio. And it's pretty easy to set up and it actually creates stuff that I personally use every single day, right? So if you want something that's actually useful for your business, AI Studio is one of the best places to do it. And the way that you can do this is you would just go to, for example, aistudio.google.com. Then from here, you're going to go inside the chat, go to build, type in what you want over here. And then let's say, for example, you want to create a voice app or you attach voice, right? If you want to use images, then you attach Nano Banana. But basically, you can build any apps that you want using this AI tool from Google. And if you go back to the chat here, we've got the new thumbnails ready to go, as you can see. And they look pretty nice. Like I could happily test any of those. And it's actually useful for me. I could use that every single day because if we have a choice between automating images or using a thumbnail designer, I'd much rather automate it and save time and help my team scale faster. Right. So the final tool that I wanted to show you as well was Pomeli. Now Pomeli is quite good for generating marketing creatives, but it's not available in my country. It's not available in a lot of countries. So that's why I'm not going to show it. Otherwise some people say, what about Pomeli inside the comments? So I want to show you that Pomeli is not available everywhere. So just to recap here, 
awesome for research, awesome for infographics, awesome for faceless videos and audio. For creating images, videos that are personalized for creating mini apps, games, and even, for example, itineraries for traveling or research and that sort of thing, I'd recommend using something like Gemini directly. Simple and easy, especially if you're not technical. because so you can just put in plain English what you want, enable the canvas, boom, shakalaki, you've got this nice little website ready to go, right? Opal is awesome for creating mini apps, like, for example, a blog post writer, that sort of thing with a nice UI. If you want to redesign the front end of your website, then you can use Google Stitch, and then you just plug that into whatever IDE or code builder you use. For building full stack apps and deploying them, I would use Google Anti-Gravity. And then finally, for actually building out like these mini apps that I use day to day, like thumbnail generators, I would use something like AI Studio. And that's basically all the new Google AI tools and how I'd use them and the use cases summed up and shown. And I've shown you exactly how I use them directly today. All right? I've got trainings on all of these inside the AI Success Lab. Link inside the comments and description, or just go to ChatGPT and say Julian Goldie AI Success Lab. If you go inside the community here, you can see you connect with 46,300 members. So you can join all of these members who are winning and learning and growing with AI. You can get all of my free trainings right here. Loads of stuff on Google and the latest AI updates. I've even got stuff on, for example, like this free AI local voice cloner app that you can use if you want to see how to, for example, turn Claude into a text to speech operator or build anything with notebook lemon and Gemini. We have free trainings inside the classroom right here. And then if you want to connect with me personally, if you want to learn about AI automation, if you want to learn how to scale your business with AI, feel free to join the AI Profit Boardroom. This is a community of 2,100 serious entrepreneurs who are growing, scaling, and saving time with AI. And you can see, for example, inside the community is very active. We all help each other learn, grow, support. We raise each other up. It's very, it's an amazing community with lots of good vibes inside there. And then you can ask any questions you have and get help and support whenever you need it. For example, Yasmin had a question on anti-gravity yesterday. We got straight back to her. You can see if you want to share your wins, which a lot of people are doing, then you can see how people are winning and learning and growing with AI. It's not just me. Loads of people are getting awesome value with this stuff. We actually have, let's have a look here. Yeah. For testimonials on the AI profit boarding, we have over 114 pages. It's pretty insane. So many people getting amazing results with this stuff. And you can see all these great testimonials and people just winning with this stuff, right? Inside the AR Profit Boardroom. So you can also, for example, join our daily accountability group. So you can post your goals, get help, get support, learn with the community. And then you can join our four weekly coaching calls per week. So, you know, if you need to jump on a live call with an AI automation expert, get help, get support, maybe even meet the community on a live call, right? Then you can do that on the four coaching calls per week. And then also inside the classroom, we have my best training. So for example, if you want to learn how to build your first AI agent in under five minutes, you can learn exactly how to do that right here. If you want to learn how to go from beginner to expert with AI in just five weeks, you can learn that inside this section. If you want to get my best playbooks on, for example, how to automate Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, if you want to learn how I create these AI avatar videos and my full process, we have training guides right here. So we have step-by-step -step video tutorials along with the video instructions. And then also inside the classroom, you can learn, for example, my best lead generation and social media workflows. You can learn how to get more clients with the agency course. You can learn how to rank number one inside ChatGPT and Perplexity and Claude and AI search engines. And then also you can see how to build out a YouTube channel based on what's working for me. So you can get that all inside the AI Profit Boardroom link in the comments description, or just go to AIProfitBoardroom.com and it's all right there for you, my friends. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.